Hi, I'm Mike, Head of Career Services here at Career Foundry. Now, interviews can be pretty nerve-wracking, but I promise you, the better you prepare, the more at ease you'll be. If you've got a UX design interview coming up, you're probably wondering, what kinds of questions will I be asked? That's exactly what we'll cover today. With the help of my colleague Jeff, a seasoned UX designer, I'm going to talk you through some essential UX interview questions and show you how to answer them. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to ace your next interview and land that job. Okay, let's go. Tell us about yourself. Ah, uh, the classic, tell me about yourself. It sounds like a conversational icebreaker, but there's a bit more to it than that. What they're really asking is, why UX design? What led you here? And how does your journey make you a good fit for this job? So Jeff, what would be your advice for answering this first question? I would say, think about your life story in relation to UX. How did you discover your passion for UX and what have you done with it since? Talk about your experiences so far and how they set you apart for this role. Like if you were working in customer service and realized, hey, I have a natural gift for empathy. This is a good link to UX design. Tell them what excites you about the role and then focus on how you think you'd be a great fit. Finish with a positive statement like, I hope I can show you how my background and approach to UX will make me a great addition to your team. What is UX design? This seems almost too basic to be true, right? But don't be fooled. This is actually a really important question, and you'll need more than a textbook definition of UX design if you're going to impress the interviewer. The underlying question here is whether or not you truly get what it means to be a UX designer. It's not just about making things look pretty, it's about understanding the user. What they're really asking is, what's the value of UX design? Highlight the importance of empathy and user centricity. Why is a user-first approach so crucial, and how does it translate into good business? Talk about user research, customer journeys, and usability testing. Show that you understand why UX design matters to users, to the company, and to the population at large. That's what UX is all about. Imagine having to explain UX design to people with differing degrees of knowledge on the subject. How would you explain it to an eight-year-old or to a university graduate? How about to a fellow UX design expert? Don't forget to talk about their business too. Discuss how good UX adds value to their product. That's what they're really interested in. What is the difference between UX and UI? This seems to be an eternal source of confusion, both in and outside of the industry. So the interviewer could throw this one in to test you. Make sure you can explain the difference between the two, but also talk about how UX and UI designers work together. Jeff, how might you answer this question? I would start by reiterating the fact that while UX and UI designers do work closely together, they are indeed two very separate roles. As we already mentioned, UX is extremely user-focused, all about finding what the user wants and the kind of challenges they face in a given product. UI is all about the visuals, the interactive buttons and screens that the user moves through, the colors and fonts they see. UI is a part of the overall user experience, much more closely linked to visual design, whereas UX is more about empathy, problem solving, and even psychology. Talk us through your workflow. UX design is such a varied, hands-on profession with a huge emphasis on problem solving. The interviewer wants to see how you go about solving these problems. How do you use design thinking to take action? They might ask you to talk through your typical UX workflow. What kinds of things should you focus on? Over to you, Jeff. There's no right or wrong answer to this question. Every UX designer has their own way of doing things, and that's absolutely fine, as long as you show that you're focused on the user at all times. Use an example to frame your process. Talk them through your steps in handling a specific project, ideally one that relates to the kinds of challenges you might face in this role. You'll also be expected to mention some key things here, like user research, personas, user flows, wireframes, and testing. Do you consider yourself a team player? UX design is a team sport, so of course the interviewer wants to see that you're a team player. They're curious as to how you'll work with developers, UI designers, and product owners. At the same time, they want to suss out if you're open to feedback and ideas. So how can you convey a bit of healthy team spirit in your answer? As a UX designer, you'll work with different people who are approaching the project from different angles. So it's really important to show that you can emphasize with a whole range of perspectives. Your answers should emphasize communication, efficiency, and an open-minded attitude. Weave in a few real-life examples when you've collaborated particularly well. Outline the challenges you face as a team, the steps you took to overcome them together, and the role you played as an individual. Tell us about your most or least successful UX design project. This is essentially a more UX specific way of asking about your strengths and weaknesses. 
If the interviewer wants to hear about your most successful UX project, they're really looking to gauge where your strengths lie. If they ask about your least successful project, they're keen to suss out your weaknesses and, more importantly, how you learn from your mistakes. What's the best way to approach a question like this, Jeff? In both of these scenarios, you need to focus on what you learned. When talking about a successful project, show how you measure success in terms of the project goals. This is a good time to bring up measurable results, such as an increase in sign-up rate after a website redesign. Be sure to talk about your personal strengths and the project either drew upon or made you aware of. When talking about an unsuccessful project, be honest but strategic. Talk about where the project went wrong and the hurdles you faced, but also how you overcame them and what you learned. What will you avoid in the future as a result of this project? Turn it to something constructive. How do you practice universal design? Accessibility is a huge topic, so don't be surprised if it comes up in your UX design interview. Why is universal design so important? Well, creating a good user experience means creating a good user experience for everybody at all times. As a designer, you need to cater to temporary situational constraints and long-term impairments. Of course, universal design is also good for business. Jeff, how would you approach the topic of universal design? I would mention inclusive design principles, such as giving the user options. Say the choice between audio content and written subtitles. I would then focus on how crucial universal design is from a business perspective. The more inclusive and accessible the product is, the wider an audience it can reach, which is ultimately great news for both the brand and reputation and the bottom line. You could also provide a few examples of how you might make their product more accessible. What do you think will be the next big thing in UX design? If the interviewer asks you about industry trends, they're fishing to see if you're passionate about UX. Have you got your finger on the pulse? Do you know what's going on in the world around you? Don't get too hung up on this. No one's expecting you to predict the future. Jeff, what might you mention here? This is a good time to talk about any books or blogs you're currently reading. Maybe you're fascinated by the rise of voice technology and happen to mention an article you read recently or a podcast you've been listening to. As always, try and relate it back to the employer's business needs and goals. How do you see this trend contributing to their success? Why is it an important trend to be aware of? Always make it relevant to the role you're applying for. How would you improve the UX of our product? Now things are really starting to get personal. This can be quite an intimidating question, but don't let it scare you. This is an excellent opportunity to show that you've researched the company and really thought about how you can make a difference to their success. This demonstrates genuine enthusiasm for the role, which will earn you major plus points. Make sure you research the company and their product thoroughly before your interview and come up with a mini plan of action to improve their UX. What else, Jeff? It's important to show that you're full of ideas and ready to hit the ground running. But of course, you need to be diplomatic here. Ask the interviewer a few searching questions to show that even though you researched the product beforehand, you're aware that you're working with assumptions. Once your assumptions have been confirmed or remodeled, you can deliver your potential solutions. Present your ideas in a constructive way. Don't start trashing their product. Where do you go for UX design inspiration? The best UX designers are constantly learning and growing, so potential employers will be curious to know how you go about this continuous learning process. Where or who do you turn to for inspiration? Do you make development and growth a top priority? There's no right or wrong answer here, as long as you show a genuine passion for learning and exploring. In a rapidly evolving field like UX design, the only way to stay on top of your game is if you're constantly learning and seeking knowledge. Even if you follow loads of influential UXers on Twitter and have a shelf full of design books, I know that my mind has a tendency to go blank when I'm asked to name a few on the spot. So go prepare with a mental shortlist, be it a design podcast or blog that you follow religiously, or even personal contacts you've made in the industry. Anything that inspires you and feeds your curiosity. Hands-on design challenge. You've talked the talk, now it's time to see if you can walk the walk. In addition to answering questions verbally, you might also be asked to complete a hands-on design challenge. Skills-based challenges come in many different forms. You may be given a design problem to take home and work on in your own time, or you might be asked to critique an app on the spot. Then there's the whiteboard challenge. As the name suggests, you'll be presented with a problem and asked to design the solution there and then, talking the panel through it as you go. No matter what kind of design challenge you're faced with, the key is to clarify assumptions and show your process. Your approach to problem solving, how you lay out your initial assumptions, and how you discuss your process are all way more important than the final result. 
So focus on these in detail and make sure you're talking about the user at every stage. That's what UX is all about, right? So there you have it. 11 essential UX design interview questions and how to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please feel free to like and comment. We'd love to hear what you think. For even more knowledge and insights, sign up for our free short courses. Thanks for watching and good luck with that interview. See you next time.